hello, hello, and welcome to another video in my basic build series. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, today we're going to be doing a village trading hall. This is for update 1.14.4 on Java. And yeah, it's pretty simple to build. It doesn't take a whole lot of stuff, and then you can make it as, as big as you want or as, as long as you want. You can wrap it around buildings and stuff, whatever you want to do. So in order to make one villager spot, this is the amount of uh, stuff you're going to need. Five powered rails, four redstone dust, five regular rails, redstone torch, one string, one regular piston, one observer, one redstone block, two levers, one button, one workstation, doesn't have to be a lectern, but whatever, whatever uh, trades you want, you got to use that uh, workstation. You're going to need 40 uh, regular solid blocks, building blocks, whatever you want to use. I'm just using smooth stones, so it's easy for you guys to see. And then one uh, lighting, uh, like glowstone or, or torch or, you know, whatever you want to do. So I like to use that one because it, it saves space. And then if you want to add stuff to it, uh, every uh, village you want to add there, I've got an extra button in there. Every villager you want to add, you need to add almost the exact same thing. Uh, I'll just let you look at them right here. Okay, so that's all the tools you need. Let's get started on it. All right, before you get built of this, you do want to just be mindful of how your rails are. So when you put them down when they're in that kind of position, they are automatically going to go that specific direction when they're not powered. It doesn't matter where you do it. It's going to be just like that. And then, yeah, on this side, you can do it like this. They're all going to go basically the same direction. Okay? So just keep that in mind when you do that. So you want to lay down your rails first to see which direction they're going to go. And if you need to move your, your machine you're about to build, then just move it a little bit to make it work with rails. Rails are pretty tricky to work with. Okay, when you've decided where you want to build this, I'm going to do this with four villagers, but you can expand this as far as you'd like. So since I'm doing it with four, I'm going to start with a nine, uh, a row of nine blocks across the back here. Just like that. All right, and then it's going to add another row just like that. Okay, so every other one out like that, you're going to skip a block. So this little block right here is where the villagers are actually going to sit. So if you want to expand this, all you need to do is just add two more blocks like that. So that'll be five villagers there, but let's just do it with four. Okay, so once you've done that, you go ahead over here, starting at this block here, you can go up a total of three, now all the way across the back. And then you can do every other one right here. Then when you come over here, you're going to grab your button. You're going to put a button on the middle one on each one of these rows here. Oops, I forgot a block. There we go. And then down here, you're going to put your powered rails. Now these are not powered yet, so when the villagers land on them, they actually won't be moving at all. In order to power it, you just hit that button and then your villagers are going to come out. Now an easy way to get them out, this part doesn't really have anything to do with the build, but I figured the easiest way to get them out is you're going to go, you don't want to put a rail line straight next to where these guys are because they can bump the other ones, but you want to come out a couple of, a couple of spots here. Oh, not there. I'm going to just go to go here and I'm going to put the uh, rail station or the rails this way, the powered rails, and then it's going to extend it this way because that's where I'm going to want the villagers to go when I'm moving them or getting rid of them or, or however, however you want to say it. All right, so if you can see that these rails are actually going that way, that means that the, the game mechanics actually want it to go this way. But in order to switch it so it goes this way like I want to do, you can just go underneath here and put down a redstone torch directly underneath that curved one. So if you do that on each one of these, it's going to change all of those. Now, in order to power these, you can either put the block that's directly underneath one as a redstone tort or a redstone block if you want to. I personally like that, the little lever right there. You can do it on either side. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and do it on that side. And for me, that's the how I'm going to power all these rails just because I like the way that looks a little bit better. Okay, so when you're done with this, that's where your village is going to uh, drop down right in here. So what you need to do here is on this one, I like to put the um, lighting source here just so it lights everything up pretty nice. And once you've done that, you actually need to come out with your building block of choice again and just come all the way across just like that. Okay, and then each one of these blocks here, you're just going to do it like that so it kind of matches exactly what you got right down here. The next thing you want to do is each one of these holes, this is where the villagers are going to go down, so you want to make sure they actually go down the hole straight. So you're going to put a block in front of each one of these holes here. So this is where they're going to be coming in from the back, and then the rail is just going to drop them down here, and they're going to fall down there and get stuck until you hit that button, and then the minecart's going to go off. Okay, so remember that your rail lines are actually going to be directional, and it depends on which direction you're having it, and the game mechanics of which way the villagers are going to come in and out. So what you can do is put down your regular rails, not your powered rails, on each one of those uh, powered blo or those light blocks, and then every other one out here, you're going to put down your powered rail, just like that. And then in between, you're going to put your regular rail again. So now we know that the villagers have to come in from this side. 
and they're going to drop down that way. You can't switch it around the way this, this one works. You can't do it the opposite way. I'm sure there's ways to figure it out, but for this, this uh, basic build here, we're actually just going to leave it how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and extend that one out that way a little bit, and then I'm going to extend this one out a little bit too. Okay, once you've done that, you actually need to power these rails. So I'd like to do with the um, levers again, and we're actually going to use these levers in just a minute. But I'll put the levers on there and turn them on so all your powered rails are turned on. And then you're going to grab your blocks, and you're, each one of these that doesn't have a uh, lever on it is going to get a block. So you're going to have four villagers, so you need four of these blocks. Now, here's the tricky part. Every other one of these, you're going to need to put a block. So right on the outside, just like that. You can put it on top of the, leather, or the lever if you hold shift. That's why I like using those. But it's got to be every other one. So this block is actually going to affect this one and this one here. So this block is going to affect, not down there, this one and this one here. Okay? So then each one of these blocks, you can put your redstone dust. And then each one of these blocks on the side, you're going to put a redstone torch. All right, just like that. Okay, now it's time to do the redstone part of this. So what you can do is come in here, and you can, facing uh, this rail right here, you're going to put down a string. So it's going to pop up right in front. It's pretty hard to see, but there's one right there. You can put one there, there, and there. Then what you need to do is come on top of here. You're going to grab your observer. You're going to get really close to it. And you're going to uh, put the observer into that string so the arrow is facing up just like that. All right, just like that. Okay, now if you do it too far back, the arrow is going to face the wrong way. You need to have it so the redstone signal actually goes up just like that. Whoops, I fell down. Okay, so it's going to look like this here. Now what you need to do is come back on these. You put two blocks down. And then on each one of these blocks, you're going to put your redstone dust. Go on the observer and those two blocks just like that. And then back here, an easy way to do this in survival is just to, ooh, is to come down here, grab a regular piston, not a sticky piston, and just look up so the piston's going to face down like that. Okay, just like this. Okay, when you're done like, with that, it's going to look like this here. Okay, so before you put the blocks with these, you actually want to make it because you're going to possibly come up here every once in a while, and you don't want to accidentally uh, bump one of these and, and activate that. So what I like to do is just put, and stop falling off, that'd be nice. Put just blocks up around this. So on each one of these, you can just put blocks up on the observers and then all the way down. And you don't need them on this one, I guess, if you don't walk over there, but it makes it look a little bit better that way. Now from the outside, if you choose to, you can put blocks around this and do whatever you want, but that's all you need right there. Okay, so last part of your, your build here is on each one of these pistons, you put down a solid block. Okay, it's just like that. Now, what we need to do is test it out because this is pretty much all done. So what's going to happen is when a villager comes in here, it's going to be on this minecart and it's going to come here and it's going to activate that string, which is going to push down that piston, which is going to activate this, which is going to rotate that rail. Now, every time you hit that, that uh, string, it, the piston is going to work, but it's not a sticky piston, so it's not going to pull that back off. And in order to reset this, if you ever need to move one of your villagers, is just put a block there, get rid of that block, and it's reset. It's pretty simple. It's a little bit of work on the inside. I'm sure there's a way to automate it, but I, I wanted to keep it simple. Okay, so I'm going to build a little area here to get some villagers in here, and then we will see how it works. Okay, I've got my little villager transport selector system thing that I built over here. If you don't know how to build one of these, I did make a video on that, so go ahead and check that out. I believe it's called my village selector. Um, but all you need to do to get this to work is send your villager right on through. So just put them in a cart, send them all down. And it's going to drop right down there. Now, in order, if they don't have a job already, um, you need to give them a job here. So only do one villager and then one station at a time. If they already do have a job, make sure that you put them in there and then put the uh, job that uh, the job block that they need right next to them. Otherwise, they might select a different one if you have other job blocks down here. So don't do that until you put your villager in. Okay. Now let's see what happened back here. So he went in there and uh, activated this thing, so that one switched. So I'll go on this side next time so you can see what happens in the back here. So the villager goes in, activates that, the rail switches over, and then he falls down to this side. Now this guy's got that job, and this guy is now going to have this job right here. All right, so all you can do, all you need to do is just keep sending your villagers right on through. Perfect, just like that. And then you put your uh, job site down like that, and we're all set. Now if you want to get rid of one of these villagers, like if you need to move them at all, all you need to do is come over here and hit that button. And it sends him on his way. And one quick note, if you do build this outside, make sure that your villagers don't have sky access, because if a storm happens, 
uh, they can get struck by lightning and turn into witches. So just go ahead and block this off if you're doing this outside. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.